The village in the valley was the end of the road. You descended into it through a mixed forest that was the oldest protected reserve in the Balkans. The faces of deer appeared and disappeared in the green light, and woodpeckers tapped out messages in code. I rented a two-story house in the last lane, newly built by absentee owners. The two houses next door were abandoned, their gardens dense with wild fruit trees that shed golden pears into my courtyard. A tortoise crossed the lawn in the morning and recrossed it at dusk. The abandoned houses were three centuries old and wood-clad, with a curious removable tile in the roof for letting light in, or perhaps for spying on the neighbors. The book is really about the complex human relationship with freedom. Um, I was interested in the border as a physical place, um, but also as a psychic site, a state of mind, um, a projection of the collective unconscious even, um, a metaphor for oppression and opportunity. Um, I, I think it's also about the absurdity and deadliness of identity politics, how easily they can slip into propaganda, into dogma and murder. Um, so it's about the many ways in which ethnic nationalism twists out of shape families and nations. It's also about the way people narrate their lives and how those narratives are the very lifeblood of, of living history. <laughs>